verse 13 all the way to verse 19. Happy is the man that, get, that findeth wisdom and the man that getteth understanding. For the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver and they have gained thereof than fine gold. She is more precious than rubies and all the things thou can desire are not to be compared unto her. Length of days is in her right hand and in her left hand riches and honor. Her ways are ways of pleasantness and all her paths are paths of peace. She is a tree of life to them that lay hold upon her and happy is everyone that retaineth her. The Lord bless his word in Jesus name. Tonight I will be speaking quickly on the subject dividends of wisdom dividends of wisdom that simply is talking about the profit of wisdom and simply tonight our objective is to understand the dividends or profitability of wisdom the dividends of the profitability of wisdom the scriptures make it clear that wisdom is profitable Wisdom is profitable. Ecclesiastes chapter 10 and in verse 10. Ecclesiastes chapter 10 and in verse 10. If the iron be blunt and he does not wet the edge or sharpen the edge, then must he put to it more strength. But wisdom is profitable. Wisdom is profitable. What does that mean? It means that it pays to walk in wisdom. And it costs to be devoid of wisdom. It pays to walk in wisdom. And it costs to be devoid of wisdom. Tonight we shall be examining the pay or the profit or the dividend. Of the wisdom of God. What does it pay? What is the pay of wisdom? What is the profit of wisdom? Number one is the peace of God. The peace of God. The peace of God. Proverbs chapter 3 and in verse 7. Now, the first verse we read in, in, in chapter 13, in verse 13, it said, Happy is the man that getteth wisdom. Happy is the man. Peaceful. Excited. In verse 17, he said, Her ways are ways of pleasantness. And all her paths are paths of peace. The easiest way to know that wisdom is available is when peace is available the presence of peace is a confirmation of the presence of wisdom and the absence of peace is a confirmation of the bankruptcy of wisdom. Listen to this. Anything that puts your life under pressure is lacking in wisdom. Every operation, every endeavor, every decision that puts your life under pressure that causes you to lose your peace is lacking in the wisdom of God. Listen to this. Never allow anybody to pressurize you into disaster. Peace. In finding the will of God, there is something we call the peace test. 
There are many who didn't pass the peace test, yet they went and married. They didn't pass the peace test. The conviction did not pass the peace test, yet they took the journey. Am I communicating? It's very, very important. It's very simple. Crisis is proof of wisdom bankruptcy. In a home, crisis every day. Somebody, one person is lacking in wisdom or both persons are lacking in wisdom. The way of wisdom is the way of peace. When you see a man walking in wisdom, no matter the enormity of his task, he is peaceful. You can't feel tension around him. You can't feel pressure in him. If you go to God, someone, Bishop David, it's as if nothing is happening. Two universities are running. Over close to 40-something thousand staff on payroll every month. Thousand. Planted churches as at last year, 10,000 churches planted in one year. Come. Restful, peaceful, no tension. How much have we done that our life is so, so full of tension? What are we accomplishing that there is so much pressure? I said this many years ago and I say it again. Don't respect anybody enough to make a move. When you have lost your peace. Don't respect anybody enough. To make the move. When you have lost your peace. Wisdom also is the capacity to say no. When no must be said. So wisdom the first dividend of wisdom is peace. Number two is pleasantness and pleasure in life. Pleasantness and pleasure. Proverbs 3, 13, he, saw, he talked about happy is the one that the man that findeth wisdom and the man that getteth understanding and in verse 17, it talked about her ways are ways of pleasantness. If you want life to be enjoyed and not endured, wisdom is a capital requirement. Because it is possible to enjoy life and it is possible to endure life. If life must be enjoyed and not endured, wisdom from God, access to the mind of God, access to the plan and purpose of God, access to the right way of doing things, then there is pleasantness. Then there is pleasure. Somebody say amen. There are people today who are enduring marital relationships enduring parenting enduring one assignment or the other and there are those who are enjoying the other day I was in the office up here on Sunday evening about 8 or 9 p.m. I told myself I said everybody Every regular person is now relaxing somewhere or doing one thing or the other. But here am I at this time at work. But I ask myself the question again. What would I rather be doing now? Is there anything I would love to be doing now apart from this? The answer was a capital no. Wisdom makes your work become your hobby. No, some people say, what is your hobby? Traveling. What is your hobby? Footballing. What is your hobby? 
um, chilling out in the uh, going out for this and that. The wisdom of God that plants you in what you are meant to be doing with your life makes what you do with your life to also become what you enjoy doing with the rest of your life. There is nowhere you would rather be than doing where, doing what you are meant to be doing. No, nothing you would like to do other than what you are meant to do. Part of pleasantness. So you are just fresh all the time. Your youth is renewed because you are in pleasure, not pressure. Somebody say amen. amen. Somebody say louder amen. amen. The other day my wife said, um, oh, that person is younger than you, but he looks older than you. Somebody we met someone. I said, oh no, don't compare me with anybody uh, in physical <laughs> Because uh, at a point it's possible that I'll be aging backward. <laughs> that is, that is when you are going, meant to grow older. It was Mitrigu's word, who always he surprised one year from his age. When he's, he will be eighty-five, he's now eighty-four. It's, it's, it's. <laughs> and when he when he passed on in his eighties, going towards nineties. He was in full health, in full strength, in full energy. Every pressure of your life today is over. If you believe that, shout the Lord and say amen. If you believe that, shout the Lord and say amen. That is what will cause you to ask God, Lord, there's so much pressure in what I am doing. Is there something I am missing? Is there a wisdom I need to know I, I don't have? Just show me. Pleasantness. And pleasure from God. Number three is prosperity and provision from God. Prosperity and provision from God. Anywhere wisdom is at work. Supplies abound. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 14 and 15. He said to us, for the merchandise of wisdom is better than the merchandise. Those trading with wisdom they fare better than those who trade silver and gold. And they gain thereof than fine gold. She is more precious than rubies and all the things thou can desire are not to be compared to her. Verse 16. Length of days is in her right hand and in her left hand riches and honor. That is wisdom. You cannot genuinely carry the wisdom of God and be empty handed in life. The way of wisdom is the way of wealth. First Corinthians chapter 10, we saw that in the life of Solomon. Verse 23, 24, the Bible said, sorry, first, first Kings chapter 10, 23 and 24, first Kings chapter 10. And here is, so King Solomon exceeded all the kings of the earth for riches for wisdom and all the earth sought to Solomon to hear his wisdom which God had put in his heart and they brought every man his present vessels of silver and vessels of gold and garments and armor and spices horses and mules erased year by year the way of wisdom is the way of wealth I met a, a, a man Man of great honor, great dignity, knows God, walking in wisdom. You know what the wife of the, of the man said? He said, this man is God's gift to my life. God has used him to enhance my value. So big, yet he, he, he functions so small. Smart in the wisdom of God. He started a business and within four weeks four five weeks that business was already controlling about 15 billion naira neat tidy i told him i said what brought you here will take you further and don't go down don't relax hand wisdom provokes wealth realm 
where you are wise, in that realm you will rise. You remember the book, Be Wise and Rise. And as I'm preaching right now, we have several wisdom books that you can access. Can you place some of them on the screen? Be Wise and Rise. Powerful book. To into what foolish things people do. Ten principal secrets of principal people. Career and workplace wisdom. They are all wisdom books that will make you a commander of resources. Wisdom will show you where money is that others can't see. Look at Proverbs chapter 28. Sorry, Job chapter 28. It's a long reading. Job 28. Surely there is a vein for the silver and a place for gold where they find it. Iron is taken out of the earth and brass is molten out of the stone. He set it an end to darkness. He's talking about something. And set it out all perfection. The stones of darkness and the shadow of death. The flood breaketh out from the inhabitant. Even the waters forgotten of the foot. They are dried up. They are gone away from men. As for the earth, out of it cometh bread. And under it is turned up as it were fire. The stones of it are the place of sapphires. And it has dust of gold. There is a path which no fowl knoweth. And which the vulture's eye has not seen. The lion's webs have not trodden it. Nor the fierce lion passed by it. He put his hand upon the rock. He's talking about something. And overturned the mountains by his roots. He cut rivers among the rocks. And his eyes see it every precious thing. His eyes see what others can't see. He binded the floors from overflowing and the thing that is hid bringeth he forth to light. What is he talking about? Wisdom. But where shall wisdom be found? And where is the place of understanding? That thing that turneth mountains by the root is called wisdom. Or Prus mountain. That three thing that cutteth rivers in the rock is called wisdom. That thing that sees the precious where others see garbage. That thing that sees wealth where others see waste. Sees riches in rubbish. It is called wisdom. You can read the balance of it. The way of wisdom is the way of wealth. And somebody here is exploding into that wisdom. And exploding into wealth by that wisdom. If you are a believer, say it louder. Amen. If you are a believer, say it louder. Amen. If you are a believer, shout the loudest. Amen. You know, wisdom is solution provision. There is someone, somebody in this assembly that designed a system for a financial solution provision in a, in, a, in a certain realm. As I two days ago, he told me how they had signed the documents. And I'm not sure if he knows exactly the, the, the quantity of resources that is to come by that wisdom. Providing solution where there is drainage of resources. Say, I can help you gather the resources together and just give me this percentage. Hallelujah. Wisdom is the way of wealth. Number four, is preservation of life. Life is preserved by wisdom. To be wise is to last. To be wise is to last. To be a fool is to expire. Proverbs chapter 3 and in verse 16 he said length of days is in the right hand of wisdom length of days proverbs chapter 7 i think verse 17 ecclesiastes 7 17 length of days is in her hands he said be not over much wicked neither be thou foolish why because why should you die before your time to be wise is to last to be a fool is to fall there are many who have died the fool's death. Needless death. 
entered into argument. You know, I told you the story one day. I was a young medical doctor at the accident and emergency unit where they call casualty during housemanship. On a Christmas Eve, I can't forget. That is everybody is doing Christmas, you're on call. And here comes in a young man brought in dead, smelling of alcohol. Christmas Eve, that's the next day, 26th, right? He boozed Christmas booze. That's stupidity number one. He sat on a motorcycle that had no headlight. Stupidity number two. And was riding the motorcycle in the night. Stupidity number three. And rode straight, drunk, mo motorcycle, no headlight, in the night, straight into an oncoming Mercedes car. Stupidity that caused calamity and led to his mortality. <laughs> Do you understand? That is called a fool's death. He died a fool's death. You remember when Abner died? David cried. Say, why did Abner die a fool's death? Joab called you aside and you know Joab is a bad man. And you allowed him to, 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 to talk with you as if he has anything good to tell you. Only for him to stab you and stab you at the fifth rib and kill you. You say, Abner, you have died a fool's death. You are a general. Your hands are not tied. Say, so why diet Abner like a fool? Your hands are not tied. You are a man. Not chicken. You would have fought it out. You will not die a fool's death. You will not die a fool's death. And the king lamented and said, 2 Samuel 3 33, and said, Die Dabna as a fool, die it. Your hands and thy hands were not bound, nor thy feet put into fetters. As a man falleth before wicked men, so fellest thou. And all the people wept again over him. You will not die a fool's death. You will not die a fool's death. You will not die a fool's death. If you are saying amen, say louder amen. Any journey that will kill you, may you not make it. Any friend that will occasion your death, may God cut you off from them. Marital relationship or any other form of relationship that will bring you disaster, may it fail before it starts. In the name of Jesus, take your seat in the presence of the Lord. That boils back again to the issue of peace. Anything you want to do and you have lost your peace, don't do it. You know what Papa Yedeko used to say? He said, We invited you to come for. Maybe a preaching engagement. And suddenly you say, and suddenly he said, Please, I am unable to come. He said, At times they may say, oh, But you have given your word that you will come. And this is his reply I am the one who said, I will come. I am also the one now saying, I cannot come. Any challenge? It's possible to keep your word and lose your life. Somebody say, God forbid. <laughs> what will you rather keep? I said this, there is nothing compulsory in life except to make heaven. Bam. <laughs> Somebody say amen. Somebody say louder amen. Somebody say louder, amen. amen. It is not the sheep in the water, but the water in the sheep that sinks it. Sila. You didn't hear what I said. He heard you. 
Not the sheep sitting in the water. But the water that entered the sheep. That is what sinks it. <laughs> there is crisis in the world, no doubt. That is not what will finish you. But crisis inside. The world has no peace. That is confirmed. So don't, don't kill yourself because of that. But when you allow yourself to have no peace, that is the one that finishes you. Sila. Build the house when God helps you. But don't let house build you. Somebody say amen. Is anybody getting anything here tonight? Anybody get anything here tonight? Number five, dividend of wisdom is prestige and honor. It says the way of wisdom is the way of honor. Proverbs chapter 3 and in verse 16. Length of days is in her hand, right hand. And in her left hand, riches and honor. Wisdom makes a man honorable. Wisdom places you in the realm of prestige. In 1 Samuel chapter 18 and in verse 5. 1 Samuel chapter 18 and in verse 5. And David went out whithersoever Saul sent him. And behaved himself wisely. And Saul set him over the men of war. And he was accepted. He became favored, honored in the sight of all the people. And also in the sight of Saul's servant. Why? He behaved himself wisely. You are respected beyond your age. If you walk in wisdom above your age. Wisdom. Wisdom brings you into the path of honor. Into the path of dignity. I was in my office today and a whole team of um, principal officers of a university, vice chancellor, registrar, um, bossa, and so on. They all sat and we, but with other elderly people came. And they said, we just wanted to let you know that the governing council of the university and every, everybody have agreed and they brought me the letter of appointment as chancellor of their university. And that first tenure is five years. Brought in the academic brief. Brought in everything that bothers about their university. I should study them. He said, we want you to help us reposition. And also bring in spirituality. Yeah. Among the people there are those who can give birth to me in the physical. That's in age. I told them, let me look at it. Because I don't want to accept the responsibility that I cannot discharge. Title without task is a waste. If I truly agree to that position, then under six months, that university must fill it. Otherwise, there is no need to agree. Big head without brain is weight to the neck. What I just said is the weight of the neck. You're just carrying big tie to big tie to chancellor. What have you done? The weight to the neck. Title without mantle is battle. Just fighting. You know we are we are in a wisdom class tonight.
Hallelujah. But, but that's the point of the matter. Prestige. In the Board of Regents of the Covenant University that I was appointed many years ago, which is like University Council, I think we had two or three medical doctors on that board. One of them became, I think, a professor of medicine when I was eight years old. Me, I was eight. That was my age. And you are sitting on the same board with such a person. Every trace of shame and every trace of reproach, every trace of ignominy around your life today, I declare it deleted by the wisdom of God. If you are saying amen, say it louder, amen. I declare it deleted by the wisdom of God. Every trace of shame, every trace of disgrace, every trace of ignominy, I declare it deleted by the wisdom of God. If you are saying amen, shout the louder, amen. Take your seat in the presence of the Lord. Number six, dividend of wisdom is promotion from God. So we have peace, pleasantness, prosperity, preservation of life, prestige and honor from God. We have promotion from God. Daniel chapter 1, verse 20, verse 21. We saw the wisdom of Daniel. How that in all matters of wisdom and understanding that the king inquired of Daniel and his people. He found them ten times better. Than all the astrologers and magicians that were in his realm. And by that wisdom, Daniel continued. Even to the first year of King Cyrus. Daniel chapter 3 and in verse 30. We saw how Daniel, after interpreting the, 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 the nightmare of Nebuchadnezzar, by the wisdom of God, then the king promoted Shadrach. Okay. And, and after Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Um, by the wisdom of God escaped the disaster in Babylon. The king promoted them and made Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the province of Babylon. Now also 2nd Samuel, 1st Samuel we just read. Chapter 18 verse 5. We saw the promotion of, of, of David. And David went out whithersoever Saul sent him. And he behaved himself wisely. And by that wise behavior he was set over. The men of war set over the men of war set over one of our members here who had decided to apply the career and workplace wisdom in her workplace had gained promotions recognitions international by wisdom she contacted there when i preached that message verbatim a young lady, a member of our church in, in America, in America, heard what I said. So she went to her boss and she said to the boss, please, sir, I have come here to ask you three questions. Number one, is there any burden you have in this workplace that I can relieve for you. Number two. Is there anything I am doing. In the course of my assignment. You are not happy with. You don't want me to do. Number three. Is there anything you will want me to do. That I am not aware. You see. First. Is there any concern you have. That I can assist you relieve. Two, is there anything I am doing I'm not meant to do? You don't, you're not happy with it. Three, is there anything you would like me to do that I'm not yet aware of? And the man looked at her and said, Kai, that's in Nigerian language now. He exclaimed, I wish it was somebody else asking me this question. Not you. All your three questions is no. There is nothing... I want you to relieve. There is also nothing you are doing that you are not meant to do. I'm, not, I'm happy with everything you are doing. 
that was a shift, 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 shift. It is wisdom that talks like that. It is wisdom that says, I am not just here to secure my own interest, but the interest of my employer. Am I communicating? It gives promotions. When you work, a woman that works in wisdom in a marital setting will be promoted, will be going up, going up, going up. Once in a while, and I've told you that every genuine man, good man, should place his wife on allowance. It's not the amount, but the fact that this is from husband. It's not the amount. It's not the amount. Food money is not, it's not, it's not, it's not the allowance. Food money is house money. I hope I'm not looking for trouble here now. <laughs> Everywhere is quiet now. That is why some women used to write fake list. Fake market list. Because they will include the money that they need in the list because they are not giving any other money. Say, this money should be enough for you. This money, I don't have more money. This money should be enough for you. Okay. All right. If they need 50,000, they will write 100,000. And then, you know, but this is food money separate, kitchen money separate. And madam, this is pocket money for you in case you need anything to do. That is, they, you will have dependents, mother can send, brother can send, relation can send. People can say, oh, she can even meet somebody who is stranded and need help. You can't come to husband and say, I have some people who have challenge and I want you to help me to help them. No, 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 that's not correct. So, so that happens. And then, so I place my wife on an allowance and once in a while I said, now, because of the goodness of your girlness. <laughs> Have you heard such English before? Yeah. Goodness of girlness. That is having been such a good girl. I increase your salary. I increase your allowance for from yeah, so and so amount to so and so amount. If it's a quarrelsome wife that will choke your neck, you only reduce the allowance until it disappears. That, that is all that is left is uh, say, oh, God, what about the allowance? Say, I, I'm not sure. Uh, because of your behavior, your salary is suspended for the next three months. <laughs> Am I communicating? Please bear in mind, it is not the amount. Even if it is 10 naira, this came from husband. Even if it is 5 naira, this is from my husband. Am I communicating? It's better you don't have money in your pocket. Than madam and children not to have. Very serious. Because men are rugged. We can survive many things. Men are very rugged. Women are very fragile. The Bible says they are the weaker vessel. Not weakness of destiny, but emotion. What can make women cry can make a man still be laughing. Am I communicating at all? So, so, so this wisdom guarantees promotion. You know, we talked of marriage on Sunday, and we are still in that season. I know that some men we are not angry, we are not happy with me, but it's all right. Um, I am not looking for your favor. You know, I, I, I want you to succeed. I want you to succeed because I am at the counseling place where I hear. And I hear a lot of marriages and I hear a lot of things from women and I know there is such a scarcity of men that will do the right things. But I believe that you cannot be under this mantle and do the wrong thing. You are the kind of men that the world is looking for. And your voice shall be heard. 
and your wife shall pray and bless you because you are doing the right thing and any man who is battling with scarcity and shortage today that battle is over that battle is over that battle is over i decree financial supplies supernatural supplies that will cause you to do the right thing around your life and your family you believe that shall the lord is amen give the lord the praise and take your seat what i'm talking about i think i must have started it from around 1500 that is pocket money this is you for you 500 so i'm telling you it's not amount 500 500 1000 1005 depending on what was available then and then it was increasing but as the help of god increased and as goodness of girlness increased <laughs> praise the lord and so wisdom brings promotion number seven two more and then we are true number seven is power authority and rulership from god wisdom positions people in power in authority in rulership in proverbs chapter 8 verse 14 and in verse 15 proverbs 8 14 15 it says counsel is mine and sound wisdom i am understanding i have strength wisdom now talking says by me kings reign and princes decree justice by me kings reign wisdom positions people in the reign king's reign what was he that positioned joseph in egypt for as much as god has showed you all this there is none so wise genesis 41 39 there is none so wise and discreet as you and then the next verse said Thou shalt be over my house, and according to your word shall all my people be ruled. Only in the throne will I be greater than thee. Now listen to this. Wisdom is the way of stardom. Is the way of stardom. And the way over the kingdoms. King's domain. wisdom is actually a domain wisdom is the domain of the wise wise domain so you cannot be wise and not have a domain that you are in charge of you are a territorial commander in charge God is placing somebody somewhere you are that person say Lord I am eh? finally the presence of God Number eight is the divid a dividend of wisdom is the presence of God. The presence of God. The presence of God. First Samuel chapter 18 verse 14. First Samuel chapter 18 verse 14. He said, and David behaved himself wisely in all his ways. And the Lord was with him. For as far as he behaved himself in all his ways. The Lord was with him. As long as he will behave himself in all his ways. The Lord was with him. Genesis 39 verse 2. Joseph walked in wisdom. And the Lord was with Joseph. If you look at Genesis chapter 41 verse 39 where we read we just saw his walk of wisdom and now we are seeing how God was with him because wisdom he was wisdom personified why is that so because God is the all wise God Amos chapter 3 verse 3 confirms that two can walk together if they be agreed if God is a wise God and you align with him in wisdom, you will not, anywhere you are, people will feel God. You carry the wisdom of God and the wisdom of God will provoke 
the presence of God. I am fully aware that God is, is close to the wise and far from the fool. I'm telling you, God is close to the wise and he won't identify with stupidity. The Almighty will never identify and be positioned with stupidity. So where things are done wisely, coordinatedly, organizedly, you feel the presence of God. Where things are done unwisely, disorganizedly. How many of you know that if your room is too scattered, even prayer is a challenge? Except if you are not, uh, that is, shoe is on the bed, bucket is on the wardrobe, The food of yesterday you ate is on the on the uh, anything. Toilet is there and uh, the flies are doing crusade. And you come and lift up your hand and say, Lord, I lift your name on high. You are always there to help. <laughs> and he will reply, I cannot be here right now with you. Because your room is so scattered. I don't know what is wrong with you. When will you correct your mind? Say, Lord, I need your presence. You say, Mba, it is my absence you need. <laughs> it is my absence you need. <laughs> right now, you need my absence. <laughs> you want to involve me in this dirtiness? I, I can't be around. When you are correct, call me. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I don't know how you feel, but I can never pray in a scattered room. Huh? You can't. Can you rest there? Everything. Huh? Oh no. The, th the thing must be must be must be in order. I mean, it's, a, it's not. So God is never. You will never. Stupidity, disorganization, discord, disorder. Let the people sit down in a company of fifties. It was in that climate that a miracle happened. The, the pots were, according to the manner of the refining of the Jews, fixed in order. And then God showed up. Beloved, there are many more things about dividends of wisdom. But these eight, if all of them manifest in your life, no devil can stop you. Two counsels very quickly. Number one, determine to pursue the wisdom of God. Determine. Father, I am in pursuit of your wisdom. Ecclesiastes chapter 1 verse 13. And I gave my heart to seek. That is to pursue. And to search out. By wisdom concerning all things that are done under heaven. How do you know the area where you are to pursue wisdom? Every area of crisis. Every area of pressure. Every area where progress is lacking. There is something you need to know. Every area of pressure, crisis, peace is lacking. Progress is lacking. The presence of God is lacking. In that area, wisdom must be sought. What do you want me to do? What am I meant to do here in this circumstance? Determine to pursue the wisdom of God, number two. Determine to receive the instructions of the wise. God passes his wisdom through the wise. Proverbs chapter 1 verse 5 he said a wise man will hear and will increase learning and a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsels. A wise man will hear. I hear that if you want to hide anything from a fool or a black man, most cases, if you want to hide anything, put it inside a book because he will not open the book. 
That is not correct. There are people who stopped schooling and also stopped learning. School may stop, but learning must never stop. Learning is for life. You may, you may, you may have a degree for a season and a master's or a PhD, but to learn is a lifelong thing. Everything around you is teaching you something. Environment is saying something. Every single thing, just keep learning. And I believe the Lord will help us. I like driving a lot. Dro drove cross country those days. Bauchi, Jaws, Kanu, Makodi, all the way to all, all over. But I had to stop driving because at times I am driving and then if light, the instruction is coming. And then I have to, I had to write. I had to write. I had to write. Pen and a paper, permanently. Pen and a paper beside the bedside. Pen and a paper everywhere. I believe it's a new day. Stand up on your feet. Let's give him the praise. Hallelujah. Somebody receive something today. Say amen. amen. How many of you believe today is your word? Today's word is your word. And I'm so happy that we are connected across Dunamis all over. Can you show us our brethren in all the locations and let's wave our hands to the King of Kings and let's appreciate him. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Father, we give you the praise. We give you the praise. We give you the praise. We give you the honor. We give you the honor. This fellowship is so sweet. Everybody connected together hearing this kind of instruction. Our lives will never remain the same. Lift your hands and appreciate the King of Kings. We shall take about 10 minutes or so and pray some very extensive praying just now. But lift your hands and appreciate him for the word. If God does not give us, we'll not hear it. He sent forth his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. Thank you for your word tonight. Thank you for your word to us tonight. Lift your hands, lift your voice, appreciate him. Let's go. Open your mouth and thank the Lord. Father, we thank you. Father, we worship you. In Jesus' precious name. How many of you received light tonight? Psalm 119, verse 30. He said, The entrance of thy words giveth light. Psalm 119 verse 130. The entrance of thy words giveth light and giveth understanding to the simple. Lift your hands and say, Father. Father. Say it louder. Say, Father. Father. Thank you for light. Thank, Thank you for light. light. By your word. By your word. Thank you for life that I just received by your word. Thank you for your life. Thank you for your word that entered and just gave me light. I thank you, Lord, because I received the grace today to walk in the light of this word in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Thank you for your word that entered my heart and my life to give me light. I walk, Lord, tonight in the light of this world. In the name of Jesus, I walk, Lord, tonight in the light of this world. In the name of Jesus, Father, thank you for light I just received by your word. I receive the grace today to walk in the light of this world in the name of Jesus. Pray, 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 pray. I receive, I receive. In Jesus precious name the Lord has answered us in Jesus name I like you to pray these prayers with passion Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 all the way to verse 6 he said 
Trust in the Lord with all your heart. And lean not unto your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. Father, direct my path. Connect me to your mind, to your plan, to your purpose for me in this season. Direct my path into your plan and your purpose for my life in this season. Lift your hands and your voice and say, Father, Father I, ask I ask tonight, tonight that you will direct me. Direct you will direct my path, direct my path into your plan, into your plan and, purpose, and purpose and agenda, and, agenda and, wisdom and wisdom for my life, for my life in, this in this season. Oh Lord, oh Lord I, ask I ask that you will direct, direct my path. My path. Direct my path into your plan and your purpose and your agenda and your wisdom for my life in this season. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Father, direct my path. Direct my path. Direct my path into your plan, into your purpose, into your agenda for me in this season. Direct my path into your plan, your purpose, your agenda, your wisdom for my life in this season. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, Father, I ask that you will direct my path into your plan, into your purpose, into your agenda, into your wisdom for my life in this season. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Direct my path. In Jesus' precious name. Proverbs chapter 14, verse 12. He said, There is a way that which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. The way seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Proverbs 16, 25, the Bible said, the same thing. There is a way. You see the Bible repeating the same thing in the same past, in the same book, twice. There is a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. There are many people who took the decision and followed the path they were 100% convinced that this is it. Maybe something covered their face. Maybe there is a charm. Maybe there is a manipulation of their mind. Nobody can say, don't do it, that they will hear. And they just stepped in. You see, there are people who left this country. God didn't ask them to leave. They left, carried their back to London. Carried their back to America. The day they arrived, that was the day they realized that they are not meant to have left their country. But you say, what will people say if I go back now and remain there for 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, 25 years taken out of a lifetime? What is left? How big is the city before mad people are 13 inside? of that proverb. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? How much is your total life that you wasted 25 out of it? <laughs> 25 years out of it. Out of the whole of your life. And they would rather die with the wrong decision 
than to make a U-turn. You know, that is why there is caps on the road to give us U-turn. That is also why there is reverse gear and there is steering. If the steering was stiff, then it means go straight. If you miss the road, just keep going. Am I communicating? Man and wife. Perfect husband, perfect wife. In appearance. My wife is aware of this story. They got wedded today. And then instead of marriage starting, woman locked up herself and would not come, come out to meet husband. Seven days later, I'm not marrying again. Celebrated wedding. Lasted for seven days. Everything looked perfect, quote unquote. Enviable looking wife. Admirable husband. You will never take such a journey. That is the aim of this second prayer. Father, deliver me from the way of wrong decision. The way of disaster. The way of danger. The way of the wrong decision. Deliver me from the way of the wrong decision. The way of danger. The way of destruction. The way of disaster. In the name of Jesus. Lift your voice and say, Father, Father I, ask I ask that you deliver me, you deliver from, me from, the from the way of the wrong decision. The, wrong decision. the, way, the way of danger. Of the, the way of destruction. destruction. Deliver, me. deliver me. Oh Lord. Oh. In the name of, name of Jesus. Again, say, Father, Father deliver, me deliver me from the way, from the way of the wrong decision, the wrong decision. Danger, danger, destruction, destruction and, disaster. and disaster. In the name of Jesus, name of open Jesus. your mouth and pray. Pray. In the name of Jesus, if it is tomorrow that you step into the path of danger, destruction, Jehovah will interrupt it today. Jehovah will interrupt it today. You know, we, we have um, heard stories of some interruptions and disappointments that are not really disappointments. Vehicle is going on the road, stopped suddenly. Ah, everything. Lord, I must catch up this meeting. I must catch up. And the Lord said, hold on. There is something happening in front that you must not meet. And then, after whatever the enemy planned for you is cleared, vehicle started. Several of such stories here and there. May God interrupt, interfere, and intervene in your path every time you are on the way of the wrong decision. Now, Psalm 136 and in verse 1. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, God of gods, for his mercy endureth forever. Oh, give thanks to the Lord of lords, for his mercy endureth forever. To him alone who dwelt great wonders, for his mercy endureth forever. How many of us know that by virtue of how Solomon was born, he was not meant to near the throne at all? But somebody say, Mercy. mercy. That 
was the son of Beersheba. The one that had relationship with, with David. Whose husband David killed. And then David carried her and married her. And this is a son from that woman. And God said, I will love him to make him king. Kai. The mercy of God most times doesn't make sense. And favor at times is not fair. It's not fair now. When um, the, the last song, Almighty, Mighty God came out, one of those who commented on the song said, now I have confirmed that God is partial to some people. <laughs> how can he make one person to know how to do so many things? God is, is now confirmed. <laughs> Hallelujah. Somebody say mercy. Mercy. This next prayer, Lord, let your mercy rescue me from the consequences of previous wrong decisions. The consequences of previous wrong decisions. Let your mercy rescue me. Let the consequences be lessened. Let the consequences not be as the enemy will desire it to be. The consequences of previous wrong steps, previous wrong decisions, rescue me by mercy. Rescue me by your mercy. Lift up your right and say, Father, Father I, ask I ask that your mercy, that your mercy will rescue, rescue my life from the consequences of previous wrong decisions in the name of Jesus. Father, I ask that your mercy will rescue me from the consequences of previous wrong decisions. I receive mercy now. Open your mouth and pray it with passion. But I ask that your mercy will rescue my life from the consequences of previous wrong decisions. I receive mercy, Lord, in the name of Jesus, from the consequences of previous wrong actions, the consequences of previous wrong steps, the consequences of previous wrong moves. Let your mercy rescue me, Lord. Let your mercy rescue me, Lord. Let your mercy rescue me, Lord, from the consequences of previous wrong decisions. Previous wrong action, previous wrong moves, previous wrong steps. Rescue me in your mercy. Pray. Let your mercy rescue me from the consequences of previous wrong decisions, wrong actions, wrong moves, wrong steps. I receive mercy, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, I ask that your mercy will rescue me from the consequences of previous wrong decisions, wrong actions, wrong moves, wrong steps. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, I receive mercy, oh Lord. In Jesus precious name I see something happening tonight finally Isaiah 54 and in verse 17 Isaiah 54 and in verse 17 he said no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper everybody read it together want to go and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shall condemn this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord and their righteousnesses of me. I'd like you to personalize it to yourself now. No weapon that is formed against me shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against me in judgment, I condemn. 
this is my heritage as a servant of the Lord, and my righteousness is of the Lord, saith the Lord. So now let's go. Want to go? No weapon that is formed against me shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against me in judgment I condemn. This is my heritage as the servant of the Lord, and my my righteousness is of Him, saith the Lord. Lift your voice and say, Father, Father I ask. Father. For deliverance, for deliverance from every enemy, from every enemy. Gang, up, gang up conspiracy, conspiracy orchestration, orchestration and, condemnation and condemnation against my life and my family and my, family, and my, destiny, and my destiny and our church dynamis church and our nation and our in this season in this say father, father I, ask, I ask we ask, we ask for deliverance for deliver from every enemy gang up conspiracy orchestration condemnation against my life my family my destiny the church our church dunamis our nation nigeria oh you conspiracy oh you gang god oh you voice of condemnation in the name of jesus you are condemned you are silenced you are nullified you are neutralized now in the name of jesus open your mouth and pray Zabaga <laughs> daga 